Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. This is part of the Sales Database series. And in this module, I want to show you how you can bring data into your database that is in Excel. And once it's in Access, how you can use the tools within Access to normalize your data. Now, while I'm doing this video, I've got the help for normalized data on the right there. So you can read that at your leisure or you can search for it yourself. But what it's going to do is make sure we haven't got duplications within our tables. And if we have, it will help us split our data into multiple tables. So it's more suitable for Microsoft Access. But first of all, let me go and get the data, which is an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm on the external data new data source, Excel, starts the wizard, you browse for your file, it's called import data, open that up, and then I want to import all of this, I don't want it appended or copied or linked, okay, and it starts the wizard. Now you've got your data here, there's only one sheet in this file, all the rest is blank. You follow it through, and this is quite key, so you might have to do a little bit of prep on your Excel spreadsheet, but those are the fields. So they'll become the fields. And then you've got the options here of selecting what you want. This is the unique identifier. Um, you can change things here. I will change that there, but you may as well go into access and then change it. So I'll just follow this through. Primary key, let me choose my own primary key. It's going to be ID number and then follow that through and then give it a name. So I'll just call it TBL staff training and get rid of the spaces to keep the naming convention consistent and then finish. And then that'll just drop it in there. You've got the option of saving that process, close. But there you go, that's the data straight from Excel into Axis. Now what I want to happen now is I want to go onto database tools and analyze this table. And what it's going to do, it's probably going to split this off into a separate table, this list of courses, and basically create a lookup. Before, before I do that, though, I just want to go into design on this and make sure everything's okay. I'm going to move that to the top, actually. So it's the first field. It's picked up the ID number. Everything else is okay there. I'll just save that. Close this down. So let's try this. See what happens. So analyze table. Now it starts the analyze wizard and it starts explaining what it's going to do. Now you've got options here of show me an example, show me an example for each of these. But what this is quite useful for doing is splitting your tables, great. And then you can edit those tables yourself at a later date if you so wish, or you can just leave it however it creates it. But I'll just go through this wizard and you can see what it's going to do. So now it's going to show me what it's thinking it's going to do. Sometimes it doesn't pick anything up. There might not be any records that it can split off, but this time it should. Which table contains the field? It's got the one highlighted there. So I'll go next. Now, do you want the wizard to do it or are you going to do it? I'm going to let the wizard do it first and then I'm going to edit it myself if I don't like what it's done. Next. So now it's come to this situation. So basically it's created two tables from the source table. If you click on the top one, um, you'll be able to rename it. So that's going to be TBL staff, I'll call it. Just type it right. And then the other one, it's just dropping this into another screen, TBL courses, like so. Now, at this stage, you can drag fields across if you don't feel that this is picking up everything you want it to be. Um, it's created that extra field there. That's what the link is. One course can be used many times. If that's what you're happy with, you can just follow it through. Go next. So it's telling you now that both do both the fields uniquely identify each other in the proposed table. Yes, they do. So I'm all right with that. Let's go next. Now you've got an option of, of letting it create a query or not. I'm not going to, all the query is going to be is basically a duplicate of what your, what your initial table is. So a duplicate of that. 
So I'm going to say uh, no, don't create a query, and then I'm going to finish. Okay, to that, just close this off a minute and let's have a look. So it's created two tables. There's courses with a related link. So that's equal ops and all the people that are doing equal ops. That's leadership, all the people that are doing leadership, and that's Microsoft training. So that's the courses table. And then this is that table. So in this table, you have a look up at the bottom to select that information. So if you want to have a look at the relationship, go to database tool and relationships. This is the current relationship that was already there for this database. Now, if I click on the table we did there, staff, bring that on and then courses, that's the relationship that it's created there. So look up the link one to many. And if you don't want this to be part of this database, you could have just created a new database and done it from scratch. But in this case, I just want to show you how you can get that in if you've got data in Excel. Now, if you don't want to do that and you don't want to normalize the data and you just want to bring an Excel file into Access, but have it linked, have it still in Excel and then in Access, you do this. So you still go to external data and still go Excel, but this time you pick in this option at the bottom, still have to browse for it. So I'll go for it again, import data, open, and then follow the wizard through. So less steps, um, just leave it like that. Definitely click in that, that's the titles. And I'll just leave this without it naming properly because I'm going to delete it afterwards. Finish, and then OK. And then you get like a little Excel symbol there. But if I open that, it is the Excel file. Now, if I just close that for a minute and open Excel, come on, let's close some of these. I don't want to say that really. So if I open Excel and get into that file, you can see how that looks. So if I open Excel or open the file, you can um, add records in the Excel file and then it will automatically appear in the access table. So I'll just bring Excel onto the screen there. This is that file. So if I add another person, let's just copy this one down, to be honest. So I'll just pull that down. You know, just change that to something else. Uh, Albert. That'll do. So I've added Albert at the bottom. Close this file down. And then I'm back into Access. If I open that link, there's Albert at the bottom there. So you've got the best of both worlds now because I can still create a form on this, I can create a query on this, and I can create a report on this and utilize it within Access. People can be updated in Excel and I will still get the results displayed in Access. So it's quite a great tool. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.